All right, it's time to kick off the holiday party season, but it only takes a few missteps for the festive to turn forgettable. Here with some fresh ideas, the creative geniuses and co-founders of A Beautiful Mess, Elsie Larson and Emma Chapman. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. You know, for years we've been doing, and I'm kind of growing weary of these ugly sweater parties. They're popular, but it seems like they're fading in some coolness. How can we change up the themes for this year's parties? Yes, a couple uh, different and fun themes that are still easy to pull off for anybody. Uh, is uh, One is you can try a holiday masquerade party. So this is really fun because uh, you can make or buy masks ahead of time and have them for guests. Or you could tell guests, hey, make or buy your own mask. And it could be about your personality or what you do for a living, and it can serve as an icebreaker. Another idea is to try a black and white themed party. So all the decor, all the snacks, um, everybody can dress in black and white. And it could be a more formal black tie type thing or a more casual black and white, depending on the vibe of your friends and family and what they enjoy. Yeah, I got a buddy who's throwing a holiday party this year, and you have to dress up as a, as a holiday character. Uh, that was his theme. But when we're holiday considering... Character. Yeah, that's, that's a good a one, idea. huh? But when we're considering these themes, what are some easy ways to bring elements of that party theme to our food and drink menus? So for the black and white party, we were thinking it would be awesome to do the classic white Russian recipe, but replace the Kahlua with either Kahlua peppermint mocha or Kahlua pumpkin spice, depending on the occasion. And then we also like to do a fun rim. So you can do a pumpkin spice rim for this one, or you can do a crushed peppermint rim for the peppermint one. I like that. And I another like fun... Um, and then what else holiday flavor that I really love is cinnamon uh, and so that's this one over here I got to get to it because I just love this one <laughs> uh, so we created this fun little recipe and it's called cinnamon girl and I highly recommend making up your own recipes or letting guests make up their own recipes because it adds to the fun and festivity of your event but this one has a uh, pineapple juice orange juice cream of coconut Kahlua and rum and then of course cinnamon and that's the star of the drink and it has a lot of unexpected flavors which is always fun to serve because people can chat about it and enjoy something different it's really good yeah what do you call it do you have a name do you name it? that's the other important thing it's fun to name them too yeah it's named after the neil young song cinnamon girl cinnamon girl yeah. ah, I like it. <laughs> how about decorations because man we could spend a fortune on these decorations if you go out and shop for all these decorations mm. can you bring an element of some diy yeah. touches so you're not spending as much Yes, we have a couple fun DIY ideas. Um, this one is a little place card for your guest. You can steal a photo of them from Facebook or Instagram and then put it at each seat and have them tell the story of their funny photo um, just to kind of break the ice for your event. Another fun thing is you can try to make your own cloth napkins, and you really don't need a lot of artistic ability to make these. You just get plain white cotton napkins, Cut out some foam and you can do any shape. You could do just geometric things or letters. You could come up with guest names or a holiday phrase. So use fabric paint onto your stamp once you've cut it out and just press it on to your cloth napkin and repeat as needed. Oh, I like it. And then yeah. guests can even take these home. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fun, right? Yeah, I, I particularly like the picture placeholders, too. I hope none of my family members are watching. I'm going to try to pull that one off this year. But one of the biggest challenges is being, able, idea. Get be, to being able to host these parties and then enjoying it, too. I've been hosting some tailgate parties during football season here, and it seems like I don't have as much fun. What do you recommend? I think that as much as you can prepare ahead of time is good. Mm -hmm. So with the cocktails, since you don't want to be bartending all night at your own party, you can set out little stations where you have all the ingredients and then you kind of write out the recipe for them and your guests can serve themselves. Maybe you'll like make them one cocktail, but then for the rest of the night they can serve themselves. Yeah. They can make you a cocktail. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, everybody a cocktail. How about a website with more information yeah. and recipe and decorations, decoration ideas? Yeah, you can find all of that at KaluaHoliday.com. All right, Elsie and Emma, have a great holiday season. Thanks for the tips. You too. Yeah, thanks. All righty, Mary, over to you.